Hi, this is a webinar on how to sign up and log in to the ThinkWave system for students and parents. The process for students and parents is exactly the same. The only difference is students have the ability to turn in assignments to the ThinkWave system. The process for students and parents is exactly the same. The only difference is students have the ability to turn in assignments to the ThinkWave system. First, you have to be invited by an administrator for the system. To do this, an administrator would go to the Setup tab, and under Online Access, you click on Invite. After selecting the student or parent, they would either enter the email here, or click the envelope icon, or click a print icon, and it will generate a printable PDF with the sign-in instructions. The administrator can also invite a student or parent directly by going to the student profile and clicking on Invite Student under Online Access. This is also where an administrator can suspend or reset the account. To reset the account, the administrator would click here, and this would reset the account without losing any data. To suspend the account, they would click on the pause icon and click on it again to resume. For this video, we will use the email. Once the invite has been sent out by the administrator, you will receive an email with the instructions and a link. Click on the link and you'll be brought to the signup page for ThinkWave, and the access code will automatically be entered for you. Here you can enter your username, which is case sensitive, the password, which is also case sensitive, and repeat the password and email. If you already have an account and just need to add an additional account, you can enter that below here. For instance, if you're a teacher who's also the parent of a child in the system and you want to add the parent access to your account, you can do that here. If for some reason the link from the email doesn't work, you can just go to www.thinkwave.com and click on Login at the top right. Then below, click Start Here. You will have to manually copy the access code from the email. If you've forgotten your password, you can reset it using your email by going to www.thinkwave.com and click Login at the top right. Then click Forgot Password and enter your email. This will send you an automated reset email. Now that you've signed up, here's where you can access all the features available in ThinkWave. The dashboard is your home page with any of the latest messages available and the recent results from assignments and tests are here. The icons here let you know if there is any associated files to download or the ability to upload files. Those are only available in the student account. The Messages tab has all the messages from teachers and administrators. The link on the left organizes the messages according to the sender. The Assignments tab allows you to see the detail of all the assignments and all the classes the student has. You can access the classes on the left, and the assignments appear here on the right. This icon means there's a description, and this icon means you can upload files for that assignment. The Attendance tab is where you can see the attendance for each class in the ThinkWave system, with classes being selectable on the left and the attendance summary on the right. This will only show absences, excuse absences, and tardies. If there's no mark, it assumes the student was present. And the Grades tab allows you to see the cumulative grades for each class, quarter, and semester. Click on the icons and you can see the details of the graded skills and any comments for that grade. And this is how you set up your new ThinkWave account access. Thanks for watching.